Why hello there, Cam here from thefishroom.co.nz again and today we're going to be talking about my new little project I'm doing. So if you've not been here before we do aquariums, tropical fish, uh, aquatic plant species profiles, fish profiles, shop tours, all that kind of jazz that it comes to the aquarium hobby. So if it sounds like you, please jump in and subscribe to our channel. Uh, like our videos, share our videos, got any questions, bang one down below. Seriously, absolutely anything, go for it. So like I said today, we're doing, well I'm beginning my next little project. Um, let's get into it. Alright, so this right here is going to be the upcoming aquarium for my next project. If you have been following the channel for a while, you'd have seen before that it's been used for a blackwater aquarium. We'll put a little link up that top area for you to click it on and check it out. So again, I'm going to be doing blackwater with this. I've had to modify it already. I've had to take all the uh, bracings for the lids off. So I've got to clean all this off. Give it a good clean. As you can see, it's a little bit dirty. And I'm going to paint the back of it, which I think is going to be that one. That edge there, because it's got a slight chip in that corner. So I have a black background and I'm doing blackwater with this as well. Um, if you have been on our Facebook page or Instagram page recently, you might have seen uh, the scape that I'm doing with this already. I put a picture on both of them there, so if you haven't, maybe check them out. It's FishroomNZ on both platforms. Um, so I give you a good idea of what was going on. Basically some wood coming through here, some more wood sort of flying into it here, and I get some leaves, and maybe I'll find some small stones that's going to go in through there as well. So this is the current project for me to do. It's a nice little blackwater one. Um, I've got some slightly coarser gravel I'm going to put on the bottom as well to give more texture to it. But this is the tank that's going to be used. So over here in my green water trough, I have some wood that I am pre-sinking for it. So it's one piece. It's all tangled already. It's another piece. They sit on top of each other. And here is a third piece. So once these have all got waterlogged, that one there is pretty close to it, these ones not quite once they're waterlogged, I will bring that aquarium inside and I'll begin scaping it. So if you can't tell, I'm out in my backyard and I've got aquariums everywhere. So a short walk from my little green water trough is another six foot tank that I'm using to soak more wooden. Um, obviously what's happening of that it's turning itself into a nice, you probably can't quite see it, quite a nice wee black water tea here. So I'm going to do partial water changes with this. It's got itself nice and dark. And I'm going to set up my RODI unit as well. So the water, the pH and everything is going to be able to drop. So it's going to be nice and soft, which is exactly what I'm trying to achieve. So I'll just dip these more. The joy of also doing partial water change with this is there's little bits of Daphne and stuff like that floating around here. So every time I do a water change, a bit of live food at the same time, which is also a bonus. So I am looking at putting the aquarium right about here. Uh, so it's walking, when I walk straight in I'll see it. It's right at around about my eye level as well, which is quite handy. So I think it'd be quite a good place for it. Um, Maintenance wise, it shouldn't be too bad. Again, if it's black water, there's only no plants in it, so here should be good. Water can drain out quite nice and easy, and it's close to the rack as well. Uh, fish wise, I'm still a little bit stump, stumped. Stumped, stumped, either way, I'm not quite sure what fish I'm gonna put on it yet. Um, I like the idea of doing an almost no water change system. Um, so very, very low stocking, maybe it's about 65 liters, so maybe six Rasbora. Or six cardinal tetra or something like that and nothing else um, so that appeals to me and just sort of letting it uh, develop on its own way doing water change every few months the other thing i like the idea of doing is having a small little mini ecosystem maybe curly loaches and raspora or a pair of dwarf cichlids and some rummy nose tetras or something like that um, kind of filling in that so that's kind of what I'm looking at for stock level at the time being I'm not 100% sold filtration again if I go no water change system I'm looking at possibly no filter um, so it's really low really slow uh, other than that I might put a little bit of air bubble in there and just use an air filter so that's that's all I'm going to filtration 
in the research process of setting up this tank I really wanted to have uh, roots plant roots coming down but I really struggled to find a plant in New Zealand that was going to keep small enough at the top and have the roots long enough to kind of keep the scale going uh, duckweed wasn't going to work because the roots don't get long enough so I thought I'd give this a go thought I'd give the old kuma trick a go or a sweet potato depending on what part of the world you're in um, I thought the roots might grow nicely down at this point the roots have not grown down in the water the plant itself is growing fine but the roots have not grown down I think I might have some fish nibbling away at it that's all I can think of um, so it's not a 100% go yet but if I can get the roots to grow that might be how what I use as far as roots dangling down within the top of the water okay so it's been uh, about 10 days or so since I recorded that last part of the video and unfortunately there's no real roots so I think um, although the plant is doing absolutely amazing uh, unfortunately I don't think this is going to be a feasible option within uh, my blackwater tank to give me what I actually wanted to achieve so it's back to the drawing board with that so next thing for me to do is to work out where on earth I'm going to put it in my house my partner is currently away so she might get a lovely wee surprise with a new fish tank in our house uh, when she gets back but shh don't tell her that all right so that's a video for another day um we'll leave it at that have a good one guys happy fish keeping and catch you later so in the research post let's do that again so in the research process of setting up this tank sorry neighbor just came home caught my attention in the recess